and the bike and monozo, now bossy or chita. That was in a condition they saw any fine name and eastern is twenty four. I see one coach, dear Zello. I see not doing an amma, omibo, omife. Carabundina as a port, dear name, Carabundina cocumaca, Mazna Nican, Coesi Pitana, Boro, and the Carabundina Bombo. If I get a Udina Nibo, keep a word offer. As not to call Captain Gagosian in an offer, or try to call a dear, is sir, is sir, is sir. I do go see the I so I go soon, or you'll be fair. I wait a little bit in Catan Canapo. Evening tea from the office of Biafran Prime Minister of Biafran Public Government in Asia. In Conisibo, Mazi, Simon Eba. Or if you want to be able to get a big figure, say a drop or a comment again. Or stomach if you check it. Um, or do commander no messy when you drop a drop or a comment. You must say future. All right, about you, sir. Successful second day of the historic two way sit at home, which is targeted at the release of Mazin and the canon preparation for the self referendum and to also put to the world on notice. That Biafra people are ready to take their own future and their freedom into their own hand, and then also to make sure that we invalidate the legitimacy of those who party themselves as the elected officials within the Biafra territory. I thank you all this evening. When you see me in this way or looking this way, it means that the Biafra Liberation Army activities has been activated to the full scale of the defense of Biafra. And in the past days, for the past days, the Biafra Liberation Army has engaged the Nigeria Islamic Terrorist Army, police, and some of them who always drive joy in killing Biafrans at will. Today, I can assure you that it is no longer business as usual. The self-defense of Biafra has been activated and we continue to neutralize them. Yesterday, the Biafra Liberation Army neutralized three armored tanks of the Biafra of the Nigeria Terrorist Army in Biafra land. Many of them were neutralized and they know that it is no longer business as usual. We will continue to fight to defend our land until the last day that Biafra will remain or stay in Nigeria. This particular broadcast this evening has become imperative to address many issues that are being paraded and shared on social media, especially on the issue of the two we sit at home. I want to inform the friends that those who do not understand what is going on, the African Republic government in exile and the de facto government in homeland has come to stay. It is the last phase to freedom. And today I can proudly tell the friends that a lot of success has been recorded from the Biafra Republic government in exile and the de facto government in the homeland. We have read all manner of propagandas coming from the Nigeria, sponsored by the Nigeria state, especially coming from those expelled criminals who have spent over 13 years deceiving Biafrans in the name of fighting for freedom. At the end of the day, they sold our leader Mazinam the Kanu to the terrorist state. And they tried everything possible to kill the struggle, but here we are today, giving them back to back. So, Biafran people, I want you to understand that today we have activated the Convention of Montevideo, which Nigeria or even Africa is not signatory to, but it is part of the Principles requirement to validate a government. Today, we have fulfilled 
many requirement to be recognized as a government. And that's where we're going. In October 2023, we are having the first ever Biafra South Referendum Convention. It is a convention that we are going to discuss and lecture Biafrans on what to expect during the South Referendum and how the South Referendum will be conducted in line with international laws, in line with international treaties, in line with the most accepted democratic process, giving the people the right to decide their future. And on that note, I want to inform the Afro people today that the Article 1 of that convention has been activated with full force. And at the same time, the Article 20 of the African Charter on Human Rights and, Pe on Human and People Rights has also been activated and Biafra people are exercising that right and we are going to exercise it very soon during the self-referendum of the Biafra people. I also want you to understand that in the coming days, you are going to be faced with a lot of propaganda sponsored by the Nigeria state. You can see that during the sit at home, a lot of lies were told and they will continue to tell those lies. Just make sure you stand very resolute, stand very strong. We are winning and we continue to win until the day we are going to redeclare Biafra. I want you all to understand that the Biafra Republic government in exile inauguration will happen in September. After that, we will activate in full force the de facto government in the homeland. But first of all, I want you all to understand that the Montevideo Convention of 19. 33 by the South American state, the Article 1 made it very, very clear how the international law should possess the qualification to define what a state is all about. How would you be recognized as a state? There are qualifications that the international community must recognize before you can be called a state. And I want to inform Biafra people that who have gone through these processes. Today, many people do not understand that freedom fighting in the 21st century is something you do with brain, is something you do with wisdom, is something you do with knowledge, is something you do, you do also with experience. Many experience you have, you have to also make sure that you utilize them while fighting for the freedom of your people. And on this note, the state, the Article 1 of this convention, you know, demonstrates how you can qualify to be called a state, or how you can be qualified to be called a country, or what should qualify you to be recognized by international community even when some people may not recognize you or some organization may not recognize you but the qualification to be recognized as a state is one you must have a permanent population Biafra has demonstrated that we have a permanent population in addition to this the Biafra Republic of Mount in Exile in the coming weeks, we will unveil the Biafra registration and the National Identity Registration of Biafra Republic, which is going to be completely online. That is going to help the Biafra people to lay the database of the Biafra Republic. Number two, for you to have the qualification 
to be recognized as a nation, you must define your territory. I want to inform Biafra people today that the Biafra Republic government in exile and the de facto government in the homeland has defined the Biafra territory with a new edited map. Number four, the government. For you to be recognized internationally, you must form a government. And I want to inform Biafra people today that we have formed a government. We did not just form a government, we have formed the Biafra Republic government in exile government, and we have also formed the de facto government in the homeland. Number four, before you can be recognized as a nation, especially when you are fighting to liberate your people like the Biafra people are fighting today, you must have the capacity to enter into relation with other states. We read all manner of propagandas coming from the Nigeria, sponsored by the Nigeria state, especially coming from those expelled criminals who have spent over 13 years deceiving Biafrans in the name of fighting for freedom. At the end of the day, they sold our leader Mazinam Bikanu to the terrorist state. And they tried everything possible to kill the struggle, but here we are today, giving them back to back. So, Biafra people, I want you to understand that today we have activated the Convention of Montevideo, which Nigeria or even Africa is not signatory to, but it is part of the prerequisite requirement to validate a government. Today, we have fulfilled many requirements to be recognized as a government. And that's where we are going. In October 2023, we are having the first ever Biafra self-referendum convention. It is a convention that we are going to discuss and lecture Biafrans on what to expect during the self-referendum and how the self-referendum will be conducted in line with international laws, in line with international treaties, in line with the most accepted democratic process, giving the people the right to decide their future. And on that note, I want to inform the Afro people today that the Article 1 of that convention has been activated with full force. And at the same time, the Article 20 of the African Charter on Human Rights and, and People's Rights has also been activated and Biafra people are exercising that right and we are going to exercise it very soon during the self-referendum of the Biafra people. I also want you to understand that in the coming days you are going to be faced with a lot of propaganda sponsored by the Nigeria state. You can see that during the sit at home a lot of lies were told and they will continue to tell those lies. Just make sure you stand very resolute, stand very strong. We are winning and we will continue to win until the day we are going to redeclare Biafra. I want you all to understand that the Biafra Republic government in exile inauguration will happen in September. After that, we will activate in full force the de facto government in the homeland. But first of all, I want you all to understand that the Montevideo Convention of 1933 by the South American state, the Article 1, made it very, very clear how the international law should possess the qualification to define what a state is all about. 
how will you be recognized as a state? There are qualifications that the international community must recognize before you can be called a state. And I want to inform the Afro people that who have gone through this process. Today, many people do not understand that freedom fighting in the 21st century is something you do with brain, is something you do with wisdom, is something you do with knowledge, is something we do, you do also with experience. Many experience you have, you have to also make sure that you utilize them while fighting for the freedom of your people. And on this note, the state, the Article 1 of this convention, you know, demonstrate how you can qualify to be called a state, or how you can be qualified to be called a country, or what should qualify you to be recognized by international community, even when some people may not recognize you, or some organization may not recognize you, but the qualification to be recognized as a state is one. You must have a permanent population. Biafra has demonstrated that we have a permanent population. In addition to this, the Biafra Republic of Mountain Exile in the coming weeks will unveil the Biafra registration and the National Identity Registration of Biafra Republic which is going to be completely online. That is going to help the Biafra people to lay the database of the Biafra Republic. Number two, for you to have the qualification to be recognized as a nation, you must define your territory. I want to inform Biafra people today that the Biafra Republic government in exile and the de facto government in the homeland has defined the Biafra Republic. When I say I define a many of no boss in Ketata and why Sina Chuko Kabi may go to the middle of the phone. What I will attack where I did it, he said, he said, he said, and no one here be a flam prime minister. And get the key be a body key and yabby for key if you would equal Bastamaka if a be a flam prime minister. A Purunila Kuwa, Kebo, Bazi, Simon Epa, Kafi would equal Bastamaka, Echafania, we stand news twenty four guys near the room, no Ziano boss in Ketabo, Abane. Idea born or two, young call one eleventh, um, eleventh, um, October twenty twenty three. One dano moon name, Camesiano, Yab Eastern News twenty four, Casino Telenosia, according in the bar.